Check out this outdoor live streaming webcam. I'm gonna show you how to set one of these up, live stream to YouTube, and also a more permanent solution for embedding a live stream web camera into your website. What you'll need is a PoE, power over ethernet, IP camera. Those plug into an outlet, Wi-Fi connected cameras won't do what you need. And if they do, they're gonna cost over 500 bucks. Thankfully, I found this Raylink camera to work great for around $100. And the best part is it has a 5X optical zoom. It also has motion alerts so you can get notified or see previous recordings for when something moves through the frame. I'll put the link to this camera in the description because there's a lot of different Raylink cameras and other IP cameras out there. And I'll also be including links for other resources and stuff that you'll need to get this process started. You will be needing a PoE injector, one and plug into a wall power source, and there's options for two Ethernet cords. The LAN local area network is what will plug directly into your router. This can be a shorter Ethernet cord. The other one is PoE, power over Ethernet. This is what will run power and signal to your camera. This, I recommend buying a longer Ethernet cord for this. So you have the flexibility of where you want to put it outside. Once you've plugged everything in and the camera is powered on, download the Raylink app to your phone, scan the QR code on the back, if your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the network your camera is on, it will be easy to connect from here, set up the password, and write it down for later use. From the app, you can view the camera from anywhere. Also, you can insert an SD card into the back of the camera so you can view motion recordings. And now I'm going to show you how to live stream on YouTube. To do this, you will need a desktop computer with Raylink's app and OBS Studio installed. So the first thing is set up your YouTube account, come up here to create, hit go live. The first time you do this, it'll require verification, phone or email, and then it'll have a 24 hour waiting period. So best to get that started first as you get everything else set up. Then download Raylink to desktop. Once that's open, connect to your camera, come to settings. Network, advanced, server settings, setup. Click this checkbox right here. By default, it's not checked. RTSP and take note of the number of port right there. Make sure you hit save. And then download and open OBS, open broadcasting source software. And what we're gonna do is come to the plus right here. Hit new media source. We'll call this one test. And then make sure that all these checkboxes are unchecked. And then all that's gonna matter here is this input line here where you're gonna put your RTSP link for your camera. This article here, the link will be in the description. You're gonna to have to build out your RTSP URL to find the camera stream on your local network. This is an example below. You will have to change these entries in the parentheses. The username is typically admin as it is for most IP cameras unless yours is different. Password is what you set up for your camera in the app. The IP address can be found specific to your camera in the app for the details for your camera. 554 is just the default port number unless you've changed it yourself. This will remain the same. And then you have the option of two different stream types as found below. You have the mainstream. Many of these cameras, including this one, shoot in 4K, but a lot of computers and networks can't handle that bandwidth, resulting in jumping, freezing, issues like that. So you can use the substream, slightly lower quality, but works better for live streaming. So copy that over exactly and then change the numbers of fields within that to be specific to your camera. Over to OBS and paste that into the input right here. I blocked out these numbers here because that's password and local IP address where I'm doing my camera. It'll be different for yours. And then I'll do the lower quality one here to get it going quicker. Hit OBS. If your video feed is not appearing here, go to desktop settings, firewall, allow OBS as an allowed application through the firewall. If it's still not working, go to Railings, desktop app, network settings, enable RTSP by checking the box and then it should appear here. Can take a few minutes, should be up here in a couple seconds. Perfect, and then we'll hit preview scaling, make sure it's set to scale to window. Scale it to the window here so that it broadcasts through YouTube correctly. And then come over here to your broadcast streaming controls. Go to settings. Let that load for a second. Stream. Connect your YouTube account here. It's pretty straightforward. Make sure you hit OK. Manage broadcast. This is how we're going to set up a new one right here. We'll just call this one test. I don't want to do that. There we go. Test. I make sure to add a thumbnail right here. It's easier to do it here than attempting to change it later. And get it all set up as you want it to go. And then hit create broadcast and start streaming. If your YouTube account is connected properly, it'll just start streaming right through, set up on YouTube, and start running off that. Here you can see the live stream running on YouTube. This method works great. It's cheap. It's easy. You can embed it to a website, share it as needed. However, there are a few issues with this, and I wouldn't consider it a permanent solution. You can see the frames here are jumping. That's just an issue with the computer, the network, the not being able to handle the bandwidth. And I would like to free that computer up for other work. And the problem is if OBS crashes or your computer crashes, if anything gets disconnected from YouTube, you have to go back in and manually set up the stream all over again. 
So I did a lot of research and I was able to find the most cost-effective way to embed a live stream webcam into a website. This is where things get a little trickier, but not impossible. Instead of your desktop running the encoding and streaming software, we're gonna to move to a cloud-based version. Many of these cost 300 bucks to 1100 bucks a year. I was able to find one that is free. It'll give you 10,000 views a month and it will give you the HTML embed code for putting the camera on a website if needed. This site is called rtsp.me. It will give you 10,000 views per month for free on your first camera, and it will even give you the HTML embed code for putting this live stream feed into your website. To do this, you will need a public IP address. You'll paste your RTSP address in here, making sure you have the public IP address updated, update the port number if needed, put in your email, select the nearest data center, and go from there. There are security risks with doing this. This camera, it's running on a public IP address. There's no other devices on the network, and I don't care who looks at it, it's meant to be a public camera to boost website traffic. But if you are looking to do this, reach out to your internet service provider, ask them, you know, they can walk you through port forwarding on the router if needed. Make sure it's on a public address and that it's done securely.